Okay, so this is the effect we're going to achieve today. We're going to start with some footage that has markers on it. Then with help of some masks, we're going to uh, remove them. Okay, so what we want to do first is change this window to the movie clip editor. So come down here, choose this, and load in the movie clip. Okay, let's scroll through the footage and find the end frame. Now we can change it down here, or press E on the keyboard and use the shortcut, which is easier. Let's find the start frame, start around frame 60. Okay, let's prefetch the video. If your clip doesn't prefetch all the way, what you need to do is go to File, then down to User Preferences, System, then what we need to do is increase the memory limit. Just increase it enough so then you cache is all the way through. And then you want to save the user settings so you don't have to do it again. Right, so what we need to do is add some markers, and this is going to help move the masks which we're going to create. So let's set a few things up here, let's change these settings. Don't need to worry about the motion, we just need to change this to previous and check normalize. Now if we control and click we add a marker, let's scale this, and move it over. It would help if we can see the search size, so we come down here, check search size, so we know how much we need. We can decrease if we need to. And let's select copy from active track, so they're all the same now. Any new ones we add will share the same properties. So, let's track this forward. It seems fine. Let's scrub through and make sure it didn't slip. Yeah, it seems fine. So just go through now, control, left click, and add some the rest of the markers. Okay, when you've placed all your markers, let's box select these and track them backwards. Okay, let's just scrub through, make sure they all work fine. Yeah. Right, we need to add a mask for each one of these um, markers. So let's come down here to the tab and change this to mask. And the first thing you need to do is select one of these markers first. So right click and select one of these. We'll start with this one first. And scroll, let's zoom in a bit. So now when you left click, you're going to place the 2D cursor. So we want to left click inside, right on top of the spot. Then we can come over here and add a circle mask. And down here, we can decrease the size. So we want it just outside of the, the the marker, the dot that we made. Slide it over. Okay. Now we need to parent the mask to the marker. So since they're both already selected, we can just go ahead and press Control P, and then that will parent them both. So you have to make sure the marker is selected first, and also the mask, then Control P. And it should work fine. So all we need to do now is do the same for the rest of them. So we need to right click on the marker, then left click in the middle. We can add a circle and we can decrease the size as needed. Move it over slightly. And since they're both already selected, we can just press Ctrl then P. It's parented. There we go.
Okay, so once you have we've placed all your markers and your masks and parented them together, they work fine. Now we need to add um, a feather. So let's go to the start on this one here. To add a feather, you hold shift and then left click on one of the points. So we need to select this first. Press shift, left click the point and drag it out. If you find you drag it out too far, then you try and move it back on its own. It'll do something like this. So what we need to do is on the left hand side, we've got some tools here. And if we select all the, the mask again, and select clear feather weight it'll go back to zero and then you can do it again so let's go through these and make these feathered now you can put as much feathering on, on as you want um, to know how much you need you, you have to check it um, in the node editor in a minute so you can always adjust it later on so for now for now we're just gonna guess how much we need Okay, so the masks follow the markers and the feathering is fine. Okay, let's just change this to face markers. There we go. Right, let's change this now to the node editor. Select this and use nodes, backdrop. Okay, we don't need the render layer. Let's get rid of that. Input movie clip okay since we've already had the move clip loaded we can just select this from here and let's just move everything out of the way okay so the first thing we want to do is add a color mix and what we're going to do is mix this with the original but with and we're going to add a blur Filter, blur. So the idea is we're going to um, blur the, f the footage so it removes the markers for us. Let's change these to 20 for now. And we'll change this to fast Gaussian. Seems to work better. Okay. Now what we need to do is add the mask. So input mask. And connect this to the factor of the mix and select the mask that we just created that's fine okay now it just needs updating so if we let's move this out of the way we just change these over and then change them back there we go should be updated so now what we need to do is just blur it a bit more and depending on your footage, like I say, my footage is really bad, so it's very pixelated and grainy. If your footage is a lot better, you you won't need as much blur. Also, if you decrease the size of the dots on the person's face, that'll help. I did them far too big. So as you can see, if you zoom right in, you can see there's a few areas that are no noticeable. But again, if you use a better camera than I did, don't need motion blur. Yeah, you should get a better result. 